Hey, good day everyone. Pasay Baller here. This is now the fourth game for today, March 1st, 2023. We got here Cleveland Cavaliers going up against Boston Celtics. That's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. The spread that is given is minus 6.5 and that's actually given towards the home team, the Boston Celtics. Now before we proceed, let's check on the uh, rankings and standings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Well, you know what? Boston Celtics, they are no longer the number one team um, in the East and in the, in, and, and in the NBA. They are now at number two with 44 wins and 18 losses, while uh, a couple of slots uh, below them would be Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, holding a record of 39 wins and 25 losses. So this matchup would really be very interesting because uh, this uh, features uh, two of the best in the East uh, for this particular game. All right, so Boston Celtics, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both teams were able to rest last night, so we can just skip that part perhaps. Um, in terms of momentum, uh, we got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers because they are coming off a win, while Boston Celtics, they are coming off a loss. Um, in terms of forms, well, both teams are just uh, showing the same numbers, winning 7 out of their last 10. So really, Cleveland Cavaliers should have a slight edge in terms of momentum. Now, let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Um, for Boston Celtics, uh, Danilo Gallinari would not be joining them still, and Mike Muscala is listed as questionable. But aside from that, nobody else. For Cleveland Cavaliers, you know, they are all complete, um, so that's actually an another advantage for them. Okay, here we go. Um, a lot of people would actually pick Boston Celtics in here, and they perfectly understand as to why they would do that. Um, Boston Celtics, on their, last, uh, on their last game, they got, you know, they got hammered by the New York Knicks and that's quite understandable as well because uh, they were not having Brown but um, losing to New York without Brown is a bit understandable but um, losing it that way is kind of not so Boston if you know what I'm saying. Um, so a lot of people are actually expecting Boston Celtics to have some sort of a bounce back game on this and who wouldn't think that way, right? Especially they are at home. They would, you know, they would be getting the support. And of course, if if possible, they can. They would want to get and retrieve that number one spot yet again. Um, but of course, Cleveland Cavaliers would not, uh, you know, would not make that easy for them. Cleveland Cavaliers, just like I said, they are just a couple of slots uh, uh, below them, so they are number four in the East. So they're not that far behind. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they got Donovan Mitchell. He's got you know his big boys with him. Um, Cleveland, they're uh, trying to improve their defense day by day. So this one's really tricky. I mean, a lot of people are expecting a Boston Celtics to have some sort of a blowout game, and that's not far from happening. But I'm gonna pick Cleveland Cavaliers in here. Um, I got trust with Cleveland Cavaliers, um, and I know that they know uh, that highly likely Boston Celtics would want to send out a message to the entire league with what happened. And I'm pretty sure that Donovan Mitchell, along with his boys, would not, again, would not allow that from happening as much as they could. Um, I think Boston Celtics would win this one, but um, I would pick Cleveland Cavaliers to cover the spread of plus 6.5. I'm, uh, you know, I'm actually trusting Donovan Mitchell on this. Donovan loves these kind of situations. Again, that's Cavs plus 6.5. Peace out. Pass I love and God bless.